What is up, everybody? Welcome to Behind the Beat. My name is Chris Langan, and today we're going to be taking a look at this snare drum by BL Drumworks. Alrighty guys, how is everybody doing today? I hope you are all doing fantastic. Uh, I'm here today with a gear demo um, on BL Drumworks Maple Snare Drum. So before we get into the snare drum, uh, I just want to quickly talk about the company and the man behind this, this snare drum. My good buddy, Bill Lester. Uh, he is the owner of BL Drumworks. You might be able to put two and two together, Bill Lester, BL Drumworks. <laughs> anyway, um, Bill's a good friend of mine. I've known Bill for many, many years. He's a pro drummer from the northeastern Pennsylvania area. Um, he's been playing professionally now for 36 years. He's got a couple of years on me, but uh, we're all in this together, I guess. <laughs> Anyhow, um, Bill is an award-winning drummer. He plays with a band by the name of Pave the Way, and they just won for Best Hardcore Band in this year's Steam Town Music Awards. So congratulations, Bill, and the rest of the band on that win. Um, but more importantly, in the last year or so, Bill has focused his attention on custom building drums. Um, I met with Bill and he was showing me some pictures of his very first custom built kit. And boy, I got to tell you, this kit is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Uh, Bill does great work. So... We got talking, and he said, Chris, why don't I let you take one of my snares, you know, take it for a run, give it a, give it a shot, and see what you think. So I thought, you know, it'd be a great time to also do a video for, for Bill and help him get the word out about his company. So let's talk a little bit about this snare drum here. All right, as you can see, it's uh, beautifully, beautifully made. Uh, the snare drum itself is a 13 by 6. It is a 10 ply maple, okay? It's got a metallic black, uh, metallic black hardware on it, um, some triple flanged hoops, and the lug, uh, lugs are the teardrop style lugs. All right. Um, as far as the snares, I think he's just got a regular 20-strand snare on here with the old school uh, rope style going on. Um, Bill typically uses Remo heads on his drums. This one um, just has uh, an Evans G2 coated on the top. And a snare side 300 on the bottom. But if you do order a drum from Bill, uh, he typically sends them with Remos unless you specify other words. All right. Well, uh, I think what we're going to do now is mic the drum up and we're going to play it. Uh, I'm going to show you what it sounds like with the snares on, snares off. Um with some moon gel on and moon gel off. So you can get a, a true sense of how this drum sings. All right, let's get her set up. All right, so we've got the drum mic'd up. Just to let you know, we are using an Audix i5 on the snare. Uh, as far as the uh, audio goes, 
I only have a tad bit of reverb, uh, reverb on, on the channel, so there's no other effects going on. I just like to add a little bit of reverb just to make the snare sound a little bit more lively. Okay, as far as the tuning goes, the bottom head I've got cranked pretty tight. I mean, typically any snare I play, I usually go fairly tight with the bottom head. I think most drummers kind of follow that. Um, as far as the top head goes, it's not cranked. Um, I'd say it's somewhere between like medium and tight. So like if we compared it to a steak, I'd say it's medium well. All right. Um, First, I'm going to throw the snares off so that you can hear what the drum sounds like without the snares. Okay, here we go. Turn the mic on. All right, guys. Let's now flip the snares on. Okay. The snares are tight as far as the little turning knob will get them. And there is no muffling. Okay. Here's how the snare sounds without any muffling. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, this, this snare really, really sings. I feel like it's got a very warm, warm tone to it. Um, but let's throw a, a little moon gel on there just to, for those of you like myself who like a little bit of muffling on their drum. See if we can cut out some of the overtones. Even though I really like the way they sound, let's just see what it would sound like uh, deadened up a little bit. So I've got a half of a piece of moon gel I'm going to stick it right over the Evans logo there. And now we'll see what it sounds like with some moon gel on it. Beautiful. I love it. I think it sounds great. I think it plays great. I typically play uh, 14 inches in diameter. Um, I have a, a pork pie snare that I think is a 12. I'm not even sure what it is. It's been so long since I played it, I don't even remember. But like I said, I generally kind of stick to a 14, and 
I, I, before I even played the drum, I kind of had a feeling it was going to sound like my pork pie, but I am, uh, I was totally wrong. This snare has a real fat sound to it, um, very fat, warm tone to it, and uh, I would have never guessed it to be a 13 inch. Maybe that has something to do with it being six inches in depth. I don't know. I've never played a snare this size, though, and um, I'm really impressed with it. The craftsmanship is just top-notch. Um, Bill, he, he spent a lot of, lot of time and attention to detail on this. So uh, I could definitely see myself putting in an order. I, I don't know yet whether or not I'll go with a 14 or a 13. I think I might go with a 13 just because I'm, I'm that impressed with the way it came out. Another thing, too, I, I'm kind of partial to metal snare drums. Um, I just always thought they sounded better. Um, I have uh, my, my gigging kit, which some of you know is a Yamaha Stage Custom. The snare that came with that is a birch uh, a wooden birch snare, and I, I hate it. I just hate the way it sounds. Uh, I, I've always been a, a metal snare player. I just like the way they sound much better. But I got to be honest, this 10-ply maple really, really sounds fantastic. So um, great job, I, Bill. I, I got to hand it to you. You did a fantastic job on this, and I'm Really, really excited to see what you come up with next. So for the viewers out there, if you want to get a custom drum set or snare drum from BL Drumworks, I will leave the link or links in the description below. So make sure you go down there and, uh, and find those. Uh, I know Bill's... Uh, Facebook page. He's got BL Drumworks on Facebook. So uh, you can definitely hit him up there. And while you're at it and you're checking out Bill, why don't you give his uh, band Pave the Way a like and a follow too. I know that they've got a Facebook page. So check those, check those guys out as well if you're into the hardcore, hardcore scene. But um, to wrap it up, man, I just got to tell you, this, this snare is fantastic. I want to thank Bill for letting borrow it and uh, play it and be able to show it to all of you guys. I think you got some really good things coming in the future for your brother. And uh, just don't forget, about, uh, don't forget about me. <laughs> I would be more than happy to, uh, to, play, to play your products. I think, I think this came out great. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the, this demonstration on BL Drumworks 10-ply maple snare. Uh, make sure if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or head to my website, chrislangandrummer.com. And until next time, we'll see you guys at the next lesson.